ดีค่ะ Despite the rapid democratic reforms taking place in Myanmar right now, critics are still reserved about the changes. But one of President Thanh Sing's closest political advisors, Koko Lai, insisted that there is no turning back. Nation Group editor in chief Suti Chai Yun interviews Koko Lai. When did you get the first indication from President Thanh Sing that we are going to go serious on reform? We are going to really change. We are going to show the world that. We are becoming democratic, because a lot of people outside yes. did not catch that yeah, change the, yes. the the turning point. Yeah. When did that happen? Actually, uh, like the other process in the nature, every re revolution started in uh, evolutions. So, even the studying of the military regime in mm -hmm. 1988. Mm -hmm. The leader of the military, they have an idea mm -hmm. to re to return back the political power mm -hmm. to the real owner, the people, mm -hmm. and uh, to construct democratic societies. So, they declared that mm -hmm. at the time mm -hmm. very clearly that mm -hmm. one day they will return mm -hmm. the responsibility of the state to the people mm -hmm. and uh, will. Made a democratic societies, mm -hmm. and uh, but actually, uh, because of the uh, many reasons, this process takes for a long time, and over twenty years, over two decades. China, China pushed you. No, no. Because sanctions, Western sanctions put you close to China. Yes, yes, <laughs> yes. Actually, uh, Myanmar is pioneer in the transition to the democracy in the uh, late nineteen eighties. You may remember that the fall of Berlin Wall actually Berlin Wall. happened in 1989, right? And also Tiananmen incidents yes, Tiananmen. occurred in 1989. Yes, but in Myanmar, in 1988, we have a people uprisings. Yes, mm -hmm. so actually uh, Myanmar was a pioneer. In the <laughs> you just started <laughs> it. <laughs> yeah, started in the 1988. Yes, but at that time, it it was a bottom up. Mm -hmm. uh, activities. Yes. So people have suffered for a long time, or socio-economic or hardship. Mm -hmm. So when a spark occur, mm -hmm. there will be a people uprising, yes. and unfortunately, mm -hmm. there's a some uh, riots and uh, kills and uh, anarchic situations in mm -hmm. our country. So Myanmar. Mm -hmm. um, the, the defense services of Myanmar mm -hmm. had to take the responsibility of the state yes. in August. Mm -hmm. And uh, as soon as uh, they had taken the power, they declared that one day they will return the political power to the people mm -hmm. and uh, they will go forward to the democracy. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And at the time, the opposition political forces are. Uh, there are many, uh, as you know, that after the riot and uh, very uh, unfortunate incidents, mm -hmm. so th the peoples and uh, political forces are quite nervous mm -hmm. and they are very frustrated yes. to get democracy instantly in the short time. Mm -hmm. But uh, the situations were quite chaotic. Mm -hmm. And at the same time, you should you should be noted that mm -hmm. we have many uh, ethnic uh, minority groups. They exploited the situations of the political instability mm -hmm. and uh, they made a very huge offensive mm -hmm. against uh, the government troops in the remote area near the borders, uh, near uh, Myanmar China borders and near uh, Thailand Myanmar borders. Mm -hmm. So it's a fe very fierce battle. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Thousands of lives have to be sacrificed. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So internal domestic politics is in a very chaotic situations and also the national security mm -hmm. in the border area was so intense, mm -hmm. very terrible. Mm -hmm. So the military government, their first priority is to make stability and security of the countries. Mm -hmm. So in early 2000s, mm -hmm. 
we have a peace agreement with made 17 major ethnic armed groups. 17? 17. 17. Mm -hmm. And after we get our temporary peace terms and the, we get the stability and security in the, across the countries, we started, the military government started political reform procedures mm -hmm. and we declare seven steps of roadmaps of the political reforms in our late 2003. Yes. And uh, by doing this process, in 2008, we complete our constitutions and uh, hold, held their national referendum. And uh, we approved the new constitutions. And uh, in 2010, we held the first elections in 50 years. 50 years. The, yes, yes. yes. You know, without, uh, with, uh, without considering the 1990 election, mm -hmm. that yeah. was not honored. Yes. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yes. Uh, after the 90, uh, 2010 elections and uh, in uh, the early months of the 2011, mm -hmm. mm -hmm. yeah, we are preparation to transfer the national power to the elected army. Mm -hmm. So you're saying that all this has been planned in advance and yes, step by step it has taken according to the original plan. Yes, of but from course. the outside, uh, the picture did not look that yes, way. Yes, not like the, that way. The picture from the outside was that you know the military was determined to retain power, yeah. and the election was only a, fa a farce. A farce. <laughs> yeah. And that uh, because of pressure, either the sanctions or because uh, of the economic hardships and yeah. perhaps because uh, Burma looked to the Arab Spring, saw the fall of Suharto, and uh, North Korea may you know, not be a helpful friend anymore, yeah. and, and decided that, okay, we would have to change. Yes. You don't think all those reasons were valid at all? Actually, uh, every uh, change or transitions have many uh, and uh, lying factors mm -hmm. and you have to consider the internal and external factors mm -hmm. so there are many in external factors like the international trend yes. is changing mm -hmm. towards the democratic societies but as you know that these changes are not so smooth mm -hmm. and, mm -hmm. and elsewhere else. Mm -hmm. so we have suffered many times of the turbulence or riots Yes. Uh, chaotic situations in the previous times. Mm -hmm. We don't want to return mm -hmm. to, to face such a situations. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. The, the government and the people of Myanmar wholeheartedly want very smooth transitions. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So we find the transitions in a smooth way. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And it's a top-down process. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. We started from the bottom, bottom up. up. In 1988, yes. but in the 2004 to mm -hmm. 2011, mm -hmm. it was the top-down process. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Why the government, the military, choose such a top-down process? Mm -hmm. As I have mentioned uh, earlier, that we would like to have very smooth transitions. Mm -hmm. At that time, no Arab Spring. Mm -hmm. Yes, mm -hmm. no Arab Spring. Mm -hmm. Yeah, uh -huh. even in a no Iraq or n no, no yeah. such a things, mm -hmm. but mm -hmm. in the minds of the military leaders, mm -hmm. they would like to make very smooth transitions to democracy. The role of military is quite significant in Myanmar politics. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And most of the Myanmar political forces, they try to build a democratic society in early days of our independence, mm -hmm. but they fail. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. They face uh, various problems of the insurrection, insurgency, mm -hmm. uh, some are the uh, ideology based, uh, mm -hmm. some are racial based. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And uh, actually, we face the very terrible situations like Bosnia. Bosnia. And even in 1950s, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. the Myanmar militaries strived a lot to maintain the country intact mm -hmm. in the, at the peak of the Cold War. Yes. We are in the middle of the core war mm -hmm. uh, between the Eastern blocks and Western blocks. Yes. We have to maintain our sovereignty and our interior, uh, territory integrity at that time. Yes. Mm -hmm. So you, you think is it, it is irre irreversible? We have uh, three main, 
three or four main reasons yeah. for the irreversibility. Oh, yes. uh, the first thing is strong political will, strong political will of the national leaders, mm -hmm. especially presidents. Mm -hmm. He has a very strong political will and determination mm -hmm. to make uh, this change mm -hmm. to be accomplished. Yes. And uh, our constitutions well set up for the democratic societies. Mm -hmm. Yes. Another thing is the desire of the people. The whole people of Myanmar now, they would like to see a change mm -hmm. towards democratic societies. Mm -hmm. Now they start to enjoy mm -hmm. the democratic artists. Mm -hmm. Like they can say anything, mm -hmm. what they wish, mm -hmm. what they like. Mm -hmm. And reason number four, that you think it would be irreversible? International trend. International trend. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yes, you can see everywhere. Mm -hmm. More than 50% of the countries in the world mm -hmm. are now democracies. Yes. And um, mm -hmm. many are trying to follow. Mm -hmm. But mm -hmm. some are trying very hard, mm -hmm. like in Yemen or like in Libya or Syria. like in mm -hmm. Syria, mm -hmm. like that. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. We would like to avoid these unfortunate things in our countries. You so don't want Arab Spring to come yeah, up here, yeah, to happen yeah, here. Yeah. Mm -hmm. 